Hello, welcome to Voice in the Alexander Technique. I'm Alison Taylor and we're going to continue to explore the leaning experiment. This time we're going to lean forward and see how the system or your whole mind-body connection responds to being out of balance immediately. Notice that this is an other than conscious response. You don't have to think oh, I'm going to lean myself over my toes and I'm going to turn on my glutes, for example. That's just what happens. Often when we're dealing with tension or repetitive strain, we think it's something that we are doing. And so then we think we have to do something to fix it. But often we just need to notice, am I in balance? Can I come over my two feet, my two contact points with the ground, in even distribution of contact in order to balance my whole system more efficiently. Often when we do that, the tension issues or the strain is less or maybe even disappears. But let's experiment with that to see what we can find out. Bring yourself to you feel evenly distributed over your feet, whatever that means for you today without trying to have good posture or fix yourself in any kind of shape, just simply balance yourself over your feet. Maybe do a little squish of your feet into the ground like you're crushing grapes. Thank you Babette Leitner for this image. For more work from Babette Leitner, you can click the link below. So once you've woken up your feet, just again come to that place where you feel evenly balanced over your feet. Now, take yourself more over your toes so you're leaning a little bit forward or a little ahead of yourself only to the point where you start to feel something activate in your muscular system to prevent you from falling david Borman says that as humans we have this amazing ability to consciously turn on and turn off muscles we also have unconscious activation of this whole muscular suit in order to keep us upright. It's amazing, it's in our design. So now we're just experimenting with coming a little forward ahead of ourselves to turn on, to notice what turns on. For me, I notice my toes start to grip. I'm not telling my toes to grip, it's just happening. As I stay here in this little forward lean, I can also start to feel some activation in the lower back muscles. So whatever it was for you, just come to where you don't feel that activation any longer. The absence of that activation or tension is what we're going to call balance today. So now come a little bit more ahead of yourself. Turn up the volume on that lean ever so and notice what else starts to turn on. For me, I can really notice the fronts of my legs, my calves. It's as though someone is holding me by my shirt at the back so that I don't fall. So your muscular suit, your whole unconscious response system is kicking in to prevent you from falling. And now come to where you don't feel that activation or engagement of muscular activity. Note, there is still tone happening through your whole muscular suit here to keep you upright. It's just simply the minimal amount of muscular effort required to keep you upright. Now, why is this important for singing? Well, consider this. If you or your student has a tendency to come here. Now I'm exaggerating, but an exaggerated thrust forward of the hips. I'm now taking this part of my mass and putting it in front of me. In order to stay balanced, this part of my mass is thrust backwards and my head forward. So do you see how my body is just naturally counterbalancing? However, in this counterbalanced shape, there's focus of activation of muscles here, 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 through the neck and shoulders. If you were to tell me, oh, just relax, I would fall over. I cannot relax 
without falling down. Yes, we do want a released state for singing, but it's more interesting to help the singer find this balanced state so that those muscles now that were caught up in keeping me balanced are now free to expand and lengthen and be elastic to allow for my breath to move my torso, to allow for my vocal mechanism to function freely and for me to take in new technical information about my voice. As long as I'm in some kind of holding pattern and I don't realize that I'm out of balance, I can't make myself available for new technical information about my voice until I free up those muscles to allow me to take in new information and to keep myself open to sing with more efficiency or move with more efficiency because now my musculature is available to help me move as long as I am balanced. We'll explore this so much more. This is just a taste. Let me know what you found out doing this forward lean about activation and, and effort versus what is the sensation of lack of effort? What movement's available to you out of that effort? Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you again.